Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. Today's topic in conservative dentistry is tooth separators. So separation of teeth may be necessary in order to improve the convenience uh, form of dentist or to prevent damage to teeth and supporting tissues and also to achieve functional contacts, contours and occlusion during the restorations. So it is defined as the process of separating the involved teeth slightly away from each other or bringing them closer to each other or changing their spatial position in one or more dimensions. So that is nothing but if we have a very close tooth. So we apply something here between and we are changing this to a very slight gap that is the creation of very slight gap between the teeth so this gap between the teeth for ease of treatment or contour and restoration process so that is a separation of tooth so it is basically helps the dentist for diagnosis of initial uh, proximal caries which is not seen on radiograph and uh, for adequate access in class uh, 2 and class 3 cavity preparation for the placement of matrix band and also polishing the proximal surfaces in class 3 and class 4 restoration and uh, removal of any foreign objects so we have basically two types of separation that is a slow separation and rapid separation so slow is also known as delayed separation rapid is immediate separation so slow or delayed separation uh, it causes very slow movement of teeth over a period of several days or weeks so it is indicated when there is tilted drifted or rotated tooth in which rapid movement is not possible so the best advantage is there is no periodontal damage but the disadvantage as we know the time consuming and require many visits so we have many methods in uh, slow tooth separation that is uh, separating using the rubber rings or bands then using rubber dam sheets then using ligature wire or copper wire copper wire then using the gutta percha sticks then uh, using oversized temporary crowns and finally the fixed orthodontic appliances so the first one rubber rings or bands it used in as we all know it is the uh, first step in orthodontic uh, treatment so it is uh, stretched and placed interproximally between two teeth to achieve the separation separation it may take uh, two to three days or maybe one week so the second one is rubber dam sheets so again uh, it is stretched and placed into proximally between the teeth usually heavy or extra heavy type is preferred usually the time of separation is uh, one hour to 24 hours so in case of pain or swelling a flows may be used to remove the sheet Next one is ligature wire or copper wire. So wire is placed beneath the contact area to form a loop. Then tightening done by twisting two ends together. So this causes increase in separation. It takes two to three days. Next we have the gutta percha sticks. So it is softened with heat and packed into proximal area. So usually it is indicated in posterior teeth so two separation usually takes one to two weeks so oversized temporary crown so if you have a crown preparation here so this is a prepared crown so what we do is we place a oversized oversized crown over here to get the separation 
of teeth. So temporary crowns are made, oversized in mesiodistal dimension and periodically resin is added to the contact area to increase the amount of separation. So the last one is fixed orthodontic appliances indicated only when extensive repositioning of tooth required. So most predictable and effective method. So that is about the slow or delayed uh, separation. Now let's move on to the rapid one. So in rapid one, uh, the tooth movement achieved very rapidly over a very short period of time. It is achieved by basically two methods. The first one is wedge principle. and then the traction principle so the wedge principle a pointed wedge shaped device is inserted between teeth to produce a desired amount of separation the most common one is Elliot's separators and wedges so the Elliot separators which is also known as crab claw crab claw separator because of its design so a mechanical device consists of a bow two holding jaws then a tightening screw okay So the clockwise rotation, so we, if you do clockwise rotation of tightening screw, it moves the contacting teeth apart. So these two will be engaging on the teeth. So if you do clockwise uh, rotation, so this will move the contacting teeth apart. So two holding jaws are positioned gingival to the contact area without damaging the interproximal. So if you have the tooth here, so these two will engage here beneath, beneath the contact area without damaging the interproximal surface. So separation should not be more than thickness of periodontal ligament that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 mm. So maximum separation should be between 0.2 to 0.5 mm used for examination and polishing of final restoration. Okay. So that is the Elliot's separators. Now we have the wedges. Okay, which is uh, we already discussed in detail uh, you can check the previous video where I explain in detail about the types of which its application and various uh, wedging techniques so you can uh, explore that video to know more about wedges okay now let's move on to the traction principle so in traction principle so this is a traction principle uh, working device that is a uh, ferrous double bow separators okay so ferrous double bow because it has got two bows so this employs a mechanical device to engage the proximal surfaces of contacting teeth and bodily moves them apart to bring about separation so ferrous double bow is used so it has uh, two bows it has two bows so the jaws of each bow so this is the jaws of each bow uh, which engages the embrasure of the contacting teeth gingival to contact area. So a wrench is used to turn the thread bars slowly to create the adequate separation. So we have the wrench which is used to turn the threaded bars. So the threaded bars here so slowly it create adequate separation. So impression compound is used to stabilize, stabilize the bows on the teeth. So separation is achieved at the expense of both the contacting tooth rather than one tooth. So tooth preparation, finishing and polishing of class 3 direct gold restoration all can be uh, performed by using ferrous double bow traction that is a two separation so next we have the matrices so that I will be dealing in my next video so this was about uh, two separators uh, we have slow separators and rapid separators 
slow separators we uh, learned various uh, rubber dam uh, rubber sheets uh, and various uh, wires copper wires uh, ligature bands and the gutta percha points the temporary crowns so rapid one we have wedge principle and traction principle in wedge principle commonly used is eliot separators and wedges which is also known as crab claw because of its uh, design so this is double bow separator comes under traction principle various double bow separator so it uses two teeth to get the separation okay so that's all about tooth separation so next video will be about the matrices so which uh, details you can see in the previous uh, videos that I explained in detail about the types of wedges and wedge techniques. So I'll come up in next session with matrices. Thank you.